In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how you add ArcGIS Online content to ArcGIS Pro. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I'm not signed in. So um, in order to see a lot of the content that's available through ArcGIS Online or through whatever your active portal is, uh, you will need to sign in. When you're not signed in, if you go to the catalog pane and go to portal, what you're going to see is you still have a couple of buttons active. That's going to be the ArcGIS Online button and the Living Atlas button. Both of those buttons are still active even if you are not signed in. So assume, you know, assuming that you have an internet connection, uh, you will still at least have access to, to those two buttons. However, the other buttons that are part of this portal tab, which include my content, my favorites, my groups, and my organization, those are all disabled at this point because I'm not signed in. So what you're seeing here is content that's available in ArcGIS Online or the Living Atlas. And so this is going to be data sets and maps that have been made publicly available <clears throat> either by Esri <clears throat> or by some other organization or some other person that's made uh, data sets publicly available. Now, if I go to the not signed in button and click sign in, that's going to bring up a login or a sign in uh, dialog box. You have two options here. Uh, the default is going to be your ArcGIS login. And this is essentially going to be uh, a login that will log you into ArcGIS online. The other option is your organization's URL. And so this would be for uh, an organization specific version of ArcGIS online. All right, so this is a, a localized portal. Uh, type version of ArcGIS Online. Uh, we're going to keep it simple here and just use the ArcGIS login, but keep in mind you can use your organization's URL instead of the, the default ArcGIS Online login. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. So you'll notice this as soon as I log in, um, of course my login information will become active in ArcGIS Pro. And on the portal tab in the catalog pane, you'll notice that we now have additional buttons that have become active. So in addition to ArcGIS Online, uh, and these are called collections, by the way. So we have an ArcGIS Online collection, Living Atlas collection. And then you also have a My Content button. This is content that is um, that I have created. Right? So under whatever login you have, right, this is, if you go to the My Content section, this is going to be uh, maps, layers, uh, any type of data set, packages would be another example. So any, any type of data or maps that you have uploaded to ArcGIS Online um, are going to show up under my content. Uh, now you can also have, I don't have anything stored under my favorites, but you can add content to my favorites as well. And this would, you know, if you're accessing data sets or maps frequently, rather than having to search for those maps or data sets, you can put them into your favorites uh, section and then they'll always show up here. It makes it much easier to find them. Uh, the next two buttons here are my groups and my organization. Now, keep in mind here, I've logged into the default version of ArcGIS Online. So uh, the button for my organization is still grayed out, right? and that's because of how I logged in. Uh, I logged in directly to ArcGIS Online rather than an organization-specific version of ArcGIS Online. So that's why my organization uh, collection is grayed out. Uh, now, my groups, uh, the way that groups work, and these are typically associated with an organization. They don't have to be. But typically, uh, when you're part of an organization, your organization typically will create uh, a number of groups. And in those groups, you can then assign content to a group. And any individual that's been assigned to that group will then have access to that content. So when you go to the My Groups button, and again, I haven't been assigned to any groups. But if you've been assigned to a group and then content has been, content has been assigned to that group, those data sets will show up here as well. Um, of course, you still have ArcGIS Online, uh, you still have Live, Living Atlas. Uh, Living Atlas is uh, Esri provided content uh, that either they are creating and maintaining or that they're working uh, with other organizations to provide this data for you. Um, so that, that's what Living Atlas is. And then ArcGIS Online, this theoretically anyone can upload data or maps to ArcGIS Online and make those data sets or maps public, and then you would see those, those data sets here as well. Uh, we'll go into more detail uh, in the next demonstration on how you add these layers to a map in ArcGIS Pro. We'll also talk about some of the different symbology that you're seeing here. Uh, we'll also talk about search functionality and filtering your data as well. We'll save that for a future demonstration though. All right, so that's about it for this time. Thanks for joining me.